Never make the time up, mate. No, that's right, mate. That's right. Yeah, like we said before, mate. Once you go the wrong way, it's uh, it's very hard to uh, to get it back. But very unfortunate for uh, for Neil, of course, uh, local man here from uh, New Plymouth with Haley, also from New Plymouth, and the Eagle Mo Eagle Automotive vessel. So we uh, get uh, ready to get into the mouth fresh super boats, the unlimited category, of course, for. Uh, the next qualifying round as you cast your eye to the, the big screen there, look at the concentration on the faces. And uh, they'll be getting set, KV. There'll be a lot of nerves for uh, for these guys, for uh, our uh, American uh, friends. Yep, so Sam Newdick now coming out with Sharma Puccinui for PSP, GJ Gardner Homes, Biolytics, Magnum Automotive, Newdick Sheet Metals, the uh, Hines, of course. Drainage Systems Limited, these guys have got plenty of sponsors on board. Out of the Hamilton region is Sam Mutic, Sharma Puccinui out of the South Island. Sharma Puccinui, a world champion navigator. And Sam Mutic, multiple New Zealand champion in the Group A category. And well, Sam will be on a flyer. Finally got this engine sorted out. And after the win last round at Mary Mary, he was just absolutely exhausted. He puts a lot of pressure on himself to Sam Munich. But one of those guys, you have a chat to him, he's always got a smile on his face. And wow, this run is looking pretty tidy at the moment. Yeah, it sure is, mate. He's my wild card for the uh, event today. I know that uh, actually had him and Glenn uh, going uh, hammer and tongs in the pits uh, last night because they'd picked it up. But this is going to be a stunning run. Oh, oh there it goes. 37.385. And what a great time. We are just getting quicker and quicker and quicker, KV. And I know you love things going fast. Mate, that is an incredible time. Quick time of the day. Mm. The 37 and a little bit of change. That is just phenomenal. That's going to put it back up to the challenge of the next man out on the water. Kyle Patrick out of Portland in Oregon. Darren Todd, the navigator, out of Hamilton. So uh, this pairing, they've had a few issues with this boat and really started to get it dialed in properly now. And it does take a little while to get the nuances out of these vessels that's a turbo capable of some 1,200 horsepower. Won't be utilising that enormous amount of horsepower here today in this very tight rotation. And you can see Kyle just going out there at the moment, certainly not pushing this boat at all in the way that we know that it can be pushed. But driving it very smart indeed. That water coming up over the face there, that stinger boat really, the nose dives in through that mouth fresh hairpin. Now, how's he gonna set this up? He's had a bit of a think about this and he's done very well through there again. So Kyle Patrick, multiple US champion and just not having 100% luck here in the New Zealand season for PSP. And that's a tidy-ish time at a 44-104 qualifying round number three. And he's ironing out the mistakes and the hesitations throughout the rotation. Qualifying four, you'll start putting the foot down his mind tip. Yeah, still very, very cautious though, wasn't he? Like you say, very, very cautious, very unlike Kyle. Um, yeah, I think that um, they have made a few changes. They took some of the mechanical, uh, a few mechanical components out of things so that uh, they could just make it a little bit easier for them. So they've also done a bit of work on the jet unit as well. So Ruben Hoxima, Jacob Wood, this is the uh, Toyota Supra engine. And uh, this engine has uh, plenty, of, plenty of letters on it. So it is the uh, 3.4 2L 2JZ GTE Toyota Supra. Commentator's nightmare there, KB. Oh, it is. It's a bit of a uh, bit of a hassle. But this, uh, this, this single turbo takes a little while to zoom up or to push. Oh, he's grabbed the tyres on the outside, gone the wrong way. This young man has just shown an enormous amount of ability to be able to run wide there and then not have the boat set up to try and get into that hairpin. So he's happy. just gone the wrong way again. He didn't come back, so that's thrown him right for a loop. But when he ran wide out on the tyres into the entrance to the hairpin, he earned on the side of caution and continued straight up, which was a very smart move. Now, finally, he's back on the rotation proper. So that is really very, very quick thinking from the uh, man 
down there at Palmerston North, the automatic transmission specialist. Yeah, of course, there's still a couple of young blokes in the boat, uh, KV, so, you know, they haven't got, like you say, they're only a rookie season uh, last year, so he's still very, very new to the sport, even though he's been around the sport for a long time, as opposed to driving a, a super boat out on the water. So uh, forget about that time, a uh, uh, 1 minute 16.826. Still very new, uh, still both a young combination, KV, so they'll be okay. They'll go back, reassess what went wrong, and, uh, and come back out for uh, qualifying four. Yeah, I find that, uh, and again, just mentioning that he, he didn't try to get into that hairpin when he ran too wide, knew that the boat, after coming off the tyres, wasn't going to handle into there. Yeah. A lot of drivers have tried to hook that into the hairpin and throw it up onto the dirt, so a lot of Quick thinking there from that young man with very limited experience. Scotty Donald and Cole Reesby, the pairing out of Featherston in Wicked 2. Love the colour of this boat. It just really pops. And, uh, well, colours don't make things go fast, but, geez, it looks good. The man leading the Unlimited Championship at the moment. And it's only qualified three, so we're not going to see Scotty Donald try and set the world on fire in this run. He's that sort of driver that just... Edges up, edges up, just gets the times down. He definitely needs to get these rotations in his brain properly. Now you're talking about... Oh, he's uh, gone the wrong way. Oh. That is what happens when you go about it the wrong way. In, out, and up on the bank. Scotty Doddle parks it up on the beach. Ah, oh, geez, I tell you what, a very disappointing way for that. And as we saw on the replay there while we were playing that sound effect, he came out of there and where other people have not tried to come back on themselves that full 180 degree turn, they've actually come down the other channel. Scotty Donald in that hesitation in that moment as we see on the replay there, tried to get into that channel he was well past it, it was never going to go in there and we saw the outcome we'll just take a, a very chewies in the water ladies and gentlemen the first time the man who is a life member of the New Zealand rescue crew the first time he's had a shower or a proper d dousing for I think about seven years yeah and I'll tell you what if there was ever a, a, a nomination Lou I hope you're listening Peter I hope you're listening a, a, a never a nomination for the big blue pill I think we've just seen it there so, uh, well done to Chewy <laughs> I'll keep your clothes on mate and <laughs> no, he's shaking out the trout is that what you call well, it? Well, I think it's a trap. <laughs> we'll take a short break, a little bit of music, back in a minute. So we cast your minds to the uh, the shoot now, the 1NZ of Glenn and Haley as they shoot out now. This will be interesting with Scotty Donald, the championship leader, parked up on the bank in the last one. This will be an all or nothing for these guys. It's a good chance to get a good jump. Uh, on the uh, look at the machine just float around this track ladies and gentlemen they have decided well the leaders just put himself on the island I'm going to show you how to get around this track of course he's got Sam Nudick uh, barking at his heels and uh, wasn't happy with that uh, at uh, Mary Mary a couple of weeks ago folks but as he comes around the top of the track this is going to be an absolutely outstanding run from the one NZ and he posts a 37.059. What <laughs> an absolutely outstanding run. That is just amazing. Glenn Head really dialed the boost up on this HRE twin turbo engine, produced about 1400 horsepower. He's dialed it up so it's producing up to 1600 at the moment. Just remember, this is qualifying round number three, and we are already getting down into those times. So that puts Glenn Head and Haley Todd straight to the top with the quick time of the day. Yeah, 